Hi, my name is Lars Bredenberg. I'm a cinematographer based in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, I've been using Cololab AI since the factory driver releases and I really enjoy this software. Um, you can do almost anything you want. It's super easy to use. Um, of course, you can get down to the fine details and all the technical stuff as well. But today I'm gonna show you how, how I do when I just play around to, to find a look that I really enjoy and, and a good place to start working. We're gonna show you a couple of scenes from, uh, from a project that's called Arts for Future that I've been working on. Um, and here we have a couple of ballet dancers from the Swedish Royal Ballet. Um, all the material is shot on a red 8K helium sensor. Um, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to just take it from Resolve and just get it into the Colab AI software and, and get a really nice look out of it. So yeah, tag along. So here we are and the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna import the timeline that I have in Resolve. Uh, and it's super easy, you have this Resolve Fetch button here and we'll just push it and it will import our timeline. And the first thing that happens is you get this little prompt and we're just gonna make sure that, uh, that everything matches with the camera that we used. So we have a red and it's the IPP2 red white gamut log 3G10. Um, and these are the settings that we're gonna have for this one because that's the right camera. I will just push down and then we will get started. And then um, I think I'm gonna, yeah, we're just gonna go with this image from the beginning. It's a really cool image and it's a really nice shot. And I think we can do something interesting with it. Um, so first of all, I just, I often just go into look designer. And, uh, and I will play around because that's the good thing about this like software that you can just you can play around for a while and you can come up with pretty interesting looks and um, like the end result is it's, uh, it's often really 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 good um, so I'm just gonna show you how how I do it so we're just gonna go for the first thing that's the negative um, and we'll try a few options and we'll see what we find um, I know that for, for this shot I want to I wanna keep it not too warm, I want to have some warmth in the skin tones, absolutely, but uh, I want to have a cool background, so I want to find something that's, that leaves the background not, not too warm and not too saturated as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll click a few of these options um, and we'll see what we can find. Uh, hit browse all options at once and, and we have that so I'm not gonna go with any of these this one I really like it's a it's a great starting point the major piece so we're gonna gonna keep that in our mind while we check a few more this one as well and we can just jump between them this is a little less saturated, which could be nice. I really, yeah, like the skin in this one as well. But yeah, the B is good. Don't go overboard. If you see something that you like, just stick with it. So I'm gonna stick with this one for now because I enjoy it. I will look at a few contrast options here as well. And it's so nice you can just keep going here and then you'll, yeah, it's a super easy way to create a look and, and it's super easy to just play around. And, and test a few options and you also have the sliders here so if you think the intensity is too much you can just dial it back a little bit uh, so now we check a few of the contrast options so we have the f1 here the f2 i like the f2 because it gives it opens the image up a little bit more but it gives a little bit more highlight and it pulls down the shadows a bit more and you also have this like toggle switch you can check it um, Probably gonna go with this one, but we can take a look at a few other as well. Some cool one. This is too washed out for my taste for this. Yeah, maybe I can go with the S2. It's nice, it's quite punchy. It's a little bit. Okay, let's go wild. I'm gonna go with the S3. Uh, so, now we have the prints here and we'll just do the same. We'll just go through a few options and see what we can find. 
right off the bat, this is something that I like. Uh, and I often, when I go through all these options, I, I just look at, at the skin. I tend to look at the subject size all the time and you can always see in the peripherals what happens when you go through all the options. It's not my taste too much. Maybe this could work. I'm gonna go with this one, 8503 Gen 2. And then we can check out the post process as well. The film print emulation, and yeah, this takes away a little bit too much for my taste. So we're gonna dial it back. We're just gonna dial it back to zero and then we're gonna just push it up a little bit from there. And see where, yeah, that just takes away a little bit of strength. Maybe a little bit more. Now we'll just try a few clicks here. Yeah, I think this is quite nice. It's not too punchy. Like the colors a little bit dialed back. Still have good contrast in it. And if we just press like exit look designer here, we get to name our show lock. So we're gonna, we can name this to ballet in Swedish. And then we have that for we can name it close up as well. Close up. Because all these scenes were shot like with, with a few different settings as well. So like this cl like close up, she had like a certain outfit and she had a different makeup than she had in like the other scene here. So this is a completely different shot with, with other colors and stuff like that. So maybe we'll do just a se separate um, look for this one. Uh, but this, I think it's a really, really nice start for our project. So we'll just take a quick look on this one as well. But this is a really, really cool shot. Uh, it's, uh, it's a woman named Luisa and she's just awesome. Uh, super strong woman, a lot of crazy poses and um, and here we have a dress made out of a parachute that it's really cool and, and a nice blue color in that one. Um, so if we do, we can just go with the same process. Uh, sometimes like when the, when the image is a little bit different like that, if you just like slam on the, the show look that we had, it's not like, yeah, it's too much. We're not gonna go with this one. Um, so we'll reset this one and and yeah, we'll see what we can do with this um, if we just go, go through the same process. And we do, it, uh, we do it pretty quick. We get back into Look Designer and, uh, and see what we have here. We can, we can try to just push it up a little bit here. The exposure, so we have something to work with here. I think this is nice. We'll check out the negatives at first. And we'll go with on off. Something here is pretty cool. You can see we get the background a little bit in, in the direction that we want and we can push a little bit more more bluish tones into it later as well. Um, take a few other ones just to make sure. Yeah, and this is cool. And we're not too far away from this one as well. And I think this is a good starting point. I will go with that one. I will check out a few of the contrast options. Maybe we'll dial it back if we go with this one. Maybe somewhere there. This is a nice one. We'll check out a few print options as well. go with this first one here and then dial it back a bit and we check it out with the toggle switch and it gives this just a little bit of, of more bluish tones into it and it's 
yeah it enhances the colors that i want to so yeah i think we're gonna go with this one and the same as last time we check out the pinprint emulation and we dial that one back to zero and i'll just go go up a bit and see what happens push it a little bit more you can see where we can see it is on the leg and give it a few clicks you can see it a bit in her face as well but not that much like this is a this is a wider shot and with this one we just went with like a huge soft box with a grid on top so we get a really nice top light but then it casts some shadows over the face and like you see the highlights uh, on her body and the and the skin pops in different places but it's not this is not a beauty shot of her face so yeah it's it's gonna be a bit different from this one um, but i think this is something that that i like i think we're pretty close here as well so then we can just do the same thing here we can exit and then we name it belly wide so now we have that one as well and uh, will save it and then I have it and then I can use it on similar shots like in the full edit I have uh, like a bunch bunch of different shots with with Louisa in, in a few other dresses as well so so a couple of these shots are very similar so I know I'm gonna be able to use this one for that um, and yeah this is like how I just how I play around to get get my different looks so I hope you take the chance if you can to just play around with the software and, and see what you come up with and don't be locked in like with what's what's right and what's wrong and like certain people are just they're just focused to do it like the same way they have always done it and uh, they don't want to try new things but I think this software really opens up to um, uh, to play with creativity and uh, and that's when you get the most amazing results so uh, yeah if you have the chance try it out and see what you come up with and like when you're when you're done here it's it's nothing more difficult than to just like push it back into resolve and then you can do all the changes that you want to uh, to finalize your your video or uh, or the shots that you're working on so yeah, check it out and, uh, and I hope this was helpful for, for at least someone and that you maybe just get an idea and, and the courage to just play around. So thanks so much for me and enjoy the clips.